Hello. There's something that's really unfair that I think we should shine a light on or make it known. It's not fair that this this thing isn't known. And so let's level the playing field and let's make it known. <laughs> so think about this. When do you ever, when does anyone ever let you see them lose their shit? When does anyone ever let you see them like in the throes of their deepest or darkest emotions? The answer is never. Um, it's something that we might witness with, um, with our immediate family or our, um, or our spouse or, or our boyfriend or girlfriend. We might witness it sometimes with them, but think about this. How often do you let someone see that side of you when you are like in the midst of your deepest or heaviest emotions? Because we all have them. <laughs> it's really strange how everyone's pretending like we don't have them. What? What? Like everyone's pretending that they, they don't have heavy emotions or if they do have anything that's other, that's below contentment, it's only kind of light or it only comes at certain times, at the most appropriate times. Like, you know, oh, your, your mother died, so you're allowed to have sadness. You're allowed to cry. Come on, get real. You have extreme sadness or other kinds of difficult emotions at other points in your life too. And how often do we, how often do you let people witness your full expression of it? And also, how often do you even fully express it? Are you even letting yourself? Are you even comfortable with yourself seeing you express it? Um, so like there's many different levels and layers of how we are hiding in this first like we won't even sometimes we don't even acknowledge that we feel something it's really suppressed in us and then we won't let us even if we do acknowledge that it's there we stifle it or we won't let ourselves express it um, and then there's the level of we won't express it in front of other people. We won't let anyone else know that we're feeling it or we diminish it whenever we do. We'll talk about it later when we're, when it's, when it's over with, but we don't ever actually ex express it or let anyone see us expressing it fully in the moment. And so we're all just walking around literally pretending that we don't have these emotions. Don't you think that's fucking bizarre to walk around pretending anything ever? <laughs> How is that not strange to live a life where you just pretend? And so not only is it weird that you are living a life where you walk around just like your whole life is just you pretending, it's weird that we that other people are walking around pretending and we're all coexisting with this weird fake shit and we're all just pretending. That's strange. And that's painful. <laughs> like this is the emotional starvation of the planet. This is what disconnection is. Like this is a big foundation of what disconnection is. It's just a serious, serious problem, like more than you could ever imagine for our planets and our human race. So I just want to draw your attention to the fact that everyone has really difficult emotions, really like unappealing emotions. 
on the regular in their life, like at, at least on the semi-regular. And yes, I mean, everyone, um, some people are aware of it and they're feeling it and expressing it and other people are suppressing it, but we all share that similarity. So take that to remember whenever you are in like your most difficult emotions, whether that is rage or jealousy or hate or despair or self-hate. Um, and a part of you feels like you should suppress it because it's not normal to feel that. Actually, it's not normal. <laughs> It's, it's not normal to suppress it. It's not normal to pretend it's not there. Pretending isn't normal. That pretending is what is weird. And there's nothing wrong with you. And you're allowed to feel however you're feeling and you're allowed to express it fully. Yeah, fully. And however you think is full expression, I bet you could go 10 yards further, <laughs> there's probably a fuller expression waiting to come out from you. Nobody else lets you see that part of them, that side of them, and that's not fair. That's not fair when you are, like even when you are alone and you're having these feelings and you're having these emotions and you think that you shouldn't have these emotions, that you shouldn't express them, it's just not fair. <laughs> and, you know, we, it's an issue that society is going to have to shift from. And which comes, like, society is comprised of all of us, every individual, so we will have to incrementally make the shift. And you have to decide to make the shift. And, yeah, it's, it's going to probably have to be incremental since you are immersed in like a, group, a society, a group of people who are just operating very differently and they're going to be scared because we, we have a lot of fear. They're going to be scared of anything new. So if they're like, oh, you're freely expressing, I don't understand that. They're going to be scared. But so that's why we make small incremental shifts in our personal life and it ripples out through our lives, through our community, through everyone we know, everyone in our life. And it just ripples out and out and out from our community to our, to our district, to our country, to other countries, to the entire world. That's how changes start with you. And I just wanted you to know that it's, it is normal to feel whatever you're feeling. I mean, whatever. <laughs> and I speak from personal experience and it, it was something that the Illuminati liked to attack me on um, I had emotions which I expressed freely therefore I was emotionally unstable or delusional and uh, and I made my expression known to others so that's what I'm saying like the society will will have a lot of fear if you go at it very drastically, which you're welcome to. Um, I'd fully support it. Feel it out. Feel what's right for you. Maybe you're like black or white, all or nothing, because you've been suppressing long enough. Society has gone like this weird route long enough, and you're like, no, no more of that. I'm going to fully express for everyone to see. I really, really support that. Um, but yeah, so... That's, it seems that that programming and that modality of attack from the Illuminati has lightened up, and that's why I'm able to speak on emotions. <laughs> they really hate, like, emotions and emotional intelligence, because if developing emotional intelligence is your route to healing, of course they don't want it to take they don't want that healing to take place, so they don't want you to develop emotional intelligence. So they're going to they're going to demonize emotional intelligence or like emotions. They're going to um, twist and contort emotional intelligence, um, and yeah, you know, they're going to say like emotions are bad. 
um, only certain kinds of emotions are good and if you have lots of difficult emotions that indicates something's obviously wrong with you because you're only allowed to have a certain amount of difficult emotions but you know also with in regards to that modality of attack on me from the Illuminati like if anyone is trying like so if they're really like loudly trying to tear you down for something they're obviously threatened by you for that something <laughs> so it seems that me personally I've worked through a lot of the programs around that whole shame for emotions I mean I'm very well aware of of that programming um, even before I even associated it as MK Ultra programming, like it was all from my mother. Um, she created like this really weird, like self destructive tornado philosophy of around emotions because, like, I was shamed for having for having them and expressing them. And then I was also shamed for not having them. So that's what I mean by like this weird, like tornado, like this whole philosophy itself was like self-destructive. It, and just like, it was an attempt to destroy my relationship and understanding and expression of my emotions. But the energies are feeling clear. Like I, I, I can feel when it's clear um, I'll feel free to talk about it, to talk about this subject. And so, yay, mini celebration for me. Mini celebration for you, too. Don't feel left out. You're doing great in life, also. Um, which is, like, my point of this video. So, I I just had this feeling of, like, it's, it's just so not fair that... <sighs> The people that we are looking up to don't share this side of themselves or they'll share it after the fact. Like they'll tell you, like after they've gone through this experience, they'll tell you about the time that they were really angry. They'll tell you about the time they, they were really sad, but they won't show you when they are really sad or when they are really angry. Um, and it does have a lot to do with like people having the capacity or the willingness to hold space for, for us. Um, so that's something that we can also work on, the, which the more we know how to hold space for ourselves, the more we can hold space for others. So we won't judge ourselves or others for emotions. We won't view the person as less than. We won't want to rescue them from their emotions. We'll see them seated in their power within their emotions. So like this whole thought process for this video was triggered because just just before like I was deep into dark emotions and like I don't I don't have anything against dark emotions. That's the thing. So like I call them dark or whatever. Um, I won't call them negative. I don't have any resistance to darkness. <laughs> Um, and so dark isn't a bad connotation to me. It might be for others, but that's, that's what it was. It was darkness, but I don't have resistance to it. And it's not something bad to me. Like it's part of my personal beauty and your all, everything inside of you is part of your personal beauty too. That's right. You are not beautiful despite all your shadow aspects, all your dark aspects. We all have them. You are beautiful because of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They contribute. They are a part of your personal beauty. And so I was, I don't even, <laughs> I, I just was completely in it. And then I, I processed it and like I got, I ended up getting spat out on the other side, which I don't go into my emotions in order to get to the other side. That's just kind of what happens. And it's like five minutes later, I was like feeling grounded because you'll, when you're 
100% present to your emotions without resistance, you will have integrated more of your consciousness, more of your self, more of your soul, your, the split off aspects of your soul, you will have integrated it. So you actually feel more whole and complete. You might feel a little bit heavy afterwards, um, but it's, it's all a good sensation. It's like the most fulfilling sensation you will ever find because you have more of yourself. Um, and so, yeah, and then like five minutes later, I was like ready to, to make a bunch of videos, which I did. And I was like just channeling. I was feeling great. Um, and I just thought like how unfair that was that I was going to be making videos where I seemed happy and how in all my videos I seem at least neutral, if not happy. Um, and that it's only one side to me and that we only ever see one side to everyone. We have like a 50 gajillion sides and we're all only showing one. Like we can't connect to people when we're only showing one, one tiny side of ourselves. You can't connect to someone when you're not being your full self and when they're not being their full self. And it's just, it isn't real. It isn't real. I don't know. For me personally, I'm looking for what's real in life. So those are thoughts. Just thoughts. Okay. Take care, guys. Oh, actually, I would, I would totally, like, make videos where I'm, because I don't have any resistance to my emotions, I would totally make videos when I'm fully in it and just fully expressing, but I have not really found um, people that can hold space for, like, the really, for, for my true true, and so that is painful for me. And so I just can't go there yet. So that's why I don't do it yet. So like I said, we got to make incremental steps in our life. And at least me talking about it was my little incremental step to address it and to, to create something new in my life and in society. Okay, now that's all. Okay, now take care.